today's video we are going to use craft foam run through a noodle maker into strips and we are going to spin it like deer hair so this is the fly that i'm going to show you guys to how to do it and it's called a tuscan bunny designed by drew chacon and you can see the head of this fly is all craft foam run through a noodle maker now when i'm talking about craft foam i'm talking about just sheets of craft foam that you buy in a package like this at your craft store you know any any department store i bought this one and the whole package was three dollars you know it's stuff is cheap and then i run it through my noodle maker i have a video where i show a noodle maker and basically you just stick your piece of foam down in your noodle maker and you spin it down and it just pushes it down now when I'm tying this fly, I leave it in the noodle maker to where I can trim off what I need as I need it. So I'm gonna set this to the side. The next thing is a zonker strip. We're gonna need a zonker strip um, for the tail and we're gonna also use some for the rear part of the body. So we're gonna need a zonker strip that's four inches long cut in half or two two inch zonker strips. We are going to need a bulldog clip our dubbing spinner, some UV resin, a UV light, and some 30 pound monofilament. What I have is a size four stainless steel saltwater hook in my vise. So what I'm gonna do first thing first, I'm going to secure with 210 denier black thread an area to tie in. So I'm gonna bring it back to the curve of the hook. Basically, if you look my barb is directly underneath in line with where i'm going to stop so once i get to that point i'm going to cut my string now i'm going to get this thing in a little bit closer for you guys can see the fly a little better okay so now that i have that i'm going to take my zonker strip and i'm going to cut it in half to where i have a two inch piece once i get that two inch piece cut i'm going to pull all the fibers back and about a third of the way down from the front I'm going to poke a hole with my bodkin needle all the way through the zonker strip. Once I get that hole poked I'm going to kind of move it up and down just a couple times to make it loose. Now where that hole is I'm going to take my monofilament line which this piece is really long. Um, we won't need it that long. I've just got it that long to where we can see it easier. So once I've got that monofilament, I'm going to poke it through the hole that I made with my bodkin needle as such. Now, once I have that strung down as such, I'm going to take my monofilament and I'm going to tie it in right on that thread wrap that I just created. And the reason I do that is that thread wrap will help secure that monofilament. So now I'm going to bring my zonker strip down. And I'm going to tie it in. Now, zonker strip is the fuzziest, messiest stuff in the world. So what I'm going to do is I've got a cup of water on my bench. And I'm going to just tame that zonker strip down by getting it wet. Once I have that down, I'm going to lay that zonker strip, fold it over my thread, and I'm going to tie it in. I'm going to tie it in right to where I brought my thread back every time, right to the curve of the hook, and then bring it forward. Now that I have that done, I'm going to take this piece of monofilament, and I'm going to tie it in a couple times, and I'm going to cut it out of the way. Okay, now that I have that cut out of the way, I'm going to secure that all the way back to where it was. And once I get that secured all the way back, I am going to create a loop for dubbing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my dubbing tool, I'm going to put it in, and I'm going to secure that in, and then I'm going to bring my thread back. So now I have a loop that I'm going to put my deer hair in. Now what, or I mean my rabbit hair in. Now what I do with this zonker strip is I just kind of straighten it out the best that I can and I put it in a bulldog clip so get that thing secured in the best you can in the bulldog clip so once I have that secured in I'm going to cut the leather strip 
completely off of the zonker. Okay, now I'm going to take that fur and I'm going to stick it into my dubbing loop. So now that I have my dubbing loop there, I'm going to run that fur up and now I'm going to start spinning my dubbing loop. Man, my eyes are bad. Okay, I'm going to start spinning my dubbing loop around that fur. Securing it into that loop. Once that starts to tighten down, I'm going to release the clip. And I am going to spin that clip. Or, I mean, spin that dubbing loop probably 30, 40 times. I want to get it really fluffy. Now you can see how fluffy that is. So now I'm going to take that. I'm going to tie right up to that zonker strip in the back. And I'm going to build the rear part of this fly's body. Now I'm going to take my thread and I'm going to go over that twice. Okay, now that I have that done, I'm going to cut my dubbing loop out. That is secured in place. Now, again, this is a big fluffy mess. I am going to get my fingers wet. And pull it back out of the way. Now I need 12 pieces of my craft foam. That are somewhere in the area of 2 inches long. Inch and a half, 2 inches, something like that. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut a bundle of craft foam. Now we have a bundle of craft foam. I want to make sure that it's consistently on both sides even. Which mine are little stragglers there because I've been using it. So now I've got them to where they're pretty consistent on both ends. So I'm going to lay them on top of the hook. I'm going to do a loose wrap. I'm going to kind of pull. Do another wrap right on top. I'm going to pull it pretty tight. Another one. and Pull it pretty tight. Now that I have them in place, I'm going to kind of spin it around. And I'm going to divide this into basically three clumps. So now that I have that part done, I want to fold that down. I'm going to run my thread down into the bottom where them tight. And I'm going to tighten it. And I want to do that like 10 times, nice and tight. Now that I have that section done, I'm going to pull one more section. Doing the same thing. Running my thread down to the bottom as tight as I can. Securing that. Again, down to the bottom, tight as I can, securing it. When I get to the front of this fly, I'm going to kind of even these pieces of foam out. I'm going to hold them back. I'm going to build a thread dam on the front of the hook. And this will be the head of my fly, but it will also hold them fibers in place. So once I get that done... I'm going to whip finish. And cut my thread. Now, that is all there is on the tying portion of this. But now I need to trim my fly. So I want to get all this foam off of the bottom. Where it kind of suspends on the water flat. So I'm going to take first thing first and I'm going to cut all them fibers off of that craft foam to where I've got a flat base where this fly will suspend in the water. Now I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to just trim straight back with my scissors making the shape of my head. Kind of getting it as even and consistent as I can. Now, where the back part is, I'm going to fold them up because rabbit hair sticks to everything. And I don't want that rabbit hair in my cut. So, I'm going to kind of fold them back and out of the way. And 
And I like mine to flare a little bit towards the back. Now, this is going to fluff up just like the one that I showed you earlier. And that is going to be all there is to it. So the first thing I'm going to do to finish is I like to use this UV instead of just regular head cement. And I kind of coat the front part pretty good just to where it's got a little bit more of a hard surface for popping. Hit it with my light. Make sure that my eye hole is cleared out. Got some in the eye. And there we have it, guys. That is how you tie a Tuscan Bunny with spun foam. These things are amazing for bass, for saltwater. They're a great fly to tie. So I hope this helps, and I hope this shows you guys a, a little new technique. So in the next video, guys.